Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we're going to be talking about the Tranya T10. I keep wanting to say T2 like Judgment Day, but no, these are the Tranya T10s. These come with 12 millimeter drivers, got a Qualcomm chipset, got audio codecs of Aptex and AAC, volume control, touch control, got an IPX7 water resistance or waterproof I should say. CVC 8.0 and USB type C charging and they also charge wirelessly as you can see here now I wasn't really expecting much from these earbuds because I don't really know that much about the company Tranya I got the M10s and while they're pretty good I can't really I don't really carry them around because the charging case is just so huge but these the charging case is a lot smaller and a lot easier to pocket. These also have Bluetooth 5.0. Really nice looking buds. I like the touch controls on these two. And as you can see, the little Tranya symbol. That's the uh that's where the touch controls are. And nice buds. They, they look good and they feel good too. And my medium ear holes, the medium silicone tips, they fit right out of the box. I got these paired up to my iPhone 12 Pro. So I'm gonna put these in my ears and I'm gonna go through all of the controls. Also, they have a really good seal. I like the seal on these. Okay, now. As far as touch controls go, you have touch controls for volume, pause, play, next track, previous track, calling, and you can also use one butt at a time in mono mode and they'll work or you can go stereo, you, you can use either or, it doesn't really matter. See, I'm going to listen to a song right quick. Also, battery life is really good. Like, you get 8 hours of single charge and you get 25 hours, or 24 I should say, with a charging case. They have a really solid connection. I, I really like the, the way the music sounds and the way they fit in my ear. They're good buds. One thing I found out is these aren't don't have the exact same like touch control functions as other earbuds. Uh, you're gonna have some muscle memory to get used to how they work but like I said they do have pause and play they got volume up volume down you got next track previous track and then you can answer calls and you can activate the voice assistant Siri or Google assistant I'm trying to see here is one tap okay one tap don't do nothing you see okay two taps on the right earbud volume goes up yep that works okay see you got yep volume down on the left volume up on the right two taps let me see let me go back okay three taps on the left to go back okay I'm trying to think how to prep I know there's volume up let me see uh, I got oh I can barely hear myself 
that's how good the seal is on these things the seal is good and i found out these got like a uh, eq mode got normal and bass boost but there really isn't that much difference between the normal and the bass boost they pretty much sound the same i think maybe the the treble is different but as far as the bass goes it's it's the same and as far as volume goes these get pretty loud i wouldn't recommend going above 75 to 80 percent as far as volume i had listened to them at max and they got some thump to them they can get really loud i usually just listen to them at like i'm gonna say like 50 60 percent i really like these these are cool buds cool cool buds nice pocketable charging case put it in your pocket it's it's a look it's got some heft to it as far as like how wide it is or how chunky it is but i don't really care about that as long as i can just put it in my pocket i don't don't worry about that hey this is future septin as i was editing this video i realized i didn't say what the price was now i got these off amazon for 39.99 you can save an extra 30% when you apply the coupon at checkout. That's not bad for some earbuds with touch controls. They don't have uh, active noise cancellation, but for less than $50, that's, that's, that's not bad. But yeah, this is the review of the Trania T10 to wireless earbuds. Thanks for watching.